How are you doing, Lauren? I'm doing all right. Um, so I saw you at the football game on Friday. Of course. Right. Yes. Did you have a good time? Yes. It's always good to see the school officers at yeah. every game. I'm really proud of you and, and how you're there for us no matter what. Yeah, I try. Um, <laughs> you <laughs> I do. do a good job. <laughs> Is everything else going good with your friends? Yes. No other problems in school outside of academics and class? No, just busy. That's good. Yeah. Let me know if there's any problems, okay? I have a lot of stuff I need to do. Like what? Like I'm behind in chemistry and math. In chemistry, English, and math, what are the kind of things that you can do on your own? Well, I'll take notes, but I don't, sometimes I just don't understand the notes. Like what the stuff's saying on the computer, like the notes I'm supposed to be taking, doesn't make like sense. Like the notes don't go with what we're talking about. So then I get confused. So something that might help is this week, I don't know if you're aware, but the counseling office is gonna run a workshop to help students take notes that might help you learn some strategies to help you focus while you're working on your own and that your notes might just be a little more clear to you so you can help remember that information. Hi Eva. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. You just got back from a great big New York trip? Yeah. Tell me about it. It was fun. Um, we went to see my brother and we just watched his soccer games and stuff. So So how, how was your brother in his soccer games? How did he play? He played good. I think they tied or won. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the best part of New York? Mm, I think I really like the food. Really? Yeah. What was the best food you ate? Um, probably the pizza. The pizza. Oh, mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> if I ever get to New York, I'll have to ask you for tips. Okay. <laughs> so tell me about um, how you're doing with your work since you got back and... Well, I took a journal and um, then also before we like had the, um, I have a calendar and um, I do all my stuff before I go. Awesome, so you worked extra hard before you left like we mm -hmm. had talked about mm -hmm. and then journaled while you were there mm -hmm. so that you were practicing some writing about some real experiences you were having. Yeah. So before you left I took a picture of um, the calendar we created together so we're looking at the same thing. I'm going to share my screen with you and pull up the calendar um, so we can kind of talk through it. Mm, I'm not really sure, but I think I'm at 201 for language arts and 201 for math. Okay, great. So maybe about a day behind. Yeah. Not too bad at all after being gone for a couple days, so that's great. Um, what's your plan for um, getting caught up though so that we don't get stressed and behind? Um, I think I could like work extra hard. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Can you tell me more about that? Like exactly what, what you might do? Um, do two tomorrow and like during the weekends so I can get caught up. So on Monday I'll call you back and check in and see how you did with that? And if you met that goal, sounds good. So Eva, have you seen many of your friends lately? Well, I've been kind of lonely because I've been working on my computer a lot and I haven't really seen any of my friends. Mm, that's really hard and that's mm -hmm. sometimes a part of working online that we don't get to see our friends as much as we want. Cause... Um, so next week I have two times where I have other online students coming in to work on assignments. And we're going to kind of work um, over the lunch hour. So we're going to work for an hour. Have lunch and have some social time. And then work for another half hour or so. Sure. Do you think you'd like to do that? Yeah, that would be really fun. OK. So I'll email mom and let her know when those are so we can see if you can come in and do those. Jake, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Good. A little tired after lunch, though. How is your class? How do you feel your classes are going? They are doing really well this year. I'm really happy with what we've got going on in psychology. What are some of your highlights? 
Um, I really enjoyed the fact that um, I have a freedom in my classroom to experiment and, and do whatever I need to help my students learn the information. Great. Well, we as the administration, we're trying to give you that freedom uh, to do the things that you can or want to in your classroom, but we also want to give you that support as well. Is there anything that I can do to support you in your classroom? Maybe every once in a while, just popping in for a check-in just so that I could get some feedback on what I'm experimenting with okay. from a different perspective. Okay. Is there a class period, a certain class period that you'd like me to come in? Um, my AP classes are probably the best places and the places that I experiment the most in, so either fifth or sixth period. Great. I'll make a note here that I'll come in fifth period tomorrow. Deal. Now, Jake, you know we, we have some projects coming up school-wide. We're putting to, together a committee. Um, have you thought about some leadership opportunities that you'd like to be a part of in the school? I haven't because I didn't think that uh, as a new teacher that I could have such leadership opportunities. All right, well, we would like you to be a part of this committee. So some of your uh, things you're going to do is you're going to be working with some of the other teachers to incorporate this new project, and we can go over a few details a little later. Um, is that something that you would be willing to do? I would love to, yeah. Great.